Hi, and welcome to basic training for Insight PRM. The first thing you're going to do is log into your account. Now click the list to bring up the complete lead database for your market. Now you're going to want to do a search for the most recently released leads list. Each time the leads go out, you'll receive the latest lead date. So that's what you're going to search for. Just put the date in the lead date field. Click search. Now you'll see I brought up the latest leads list for the Philadelphia market. So each time the leads come in, go through, and if you want to work the lead, add it to your PRM. PRM stands for Prospect Relationship Management. Now, once the leads are in the PRM, you can begin to build a relationship with the prospect using the tools inside the PRM. So let's take a look. Okay. So we'll open up a record. Um, in the company details, you'll see you know, all the key information you need to work the lead address, phone number, number of employees, move date, and the lead notes taken by us. And if you go into the details tab, we may have been able to find out additional information like about IT and telecom. Now take a look over here to the right. Uh, in your contacts box, you'll see the contacts we've provided. You can also add new contacts. Just add as much information as you know. You can add as many contacts as you like. Now let's go into the notes. Each time you attempt to contact this prospect, you'll record your interactions with them. Often you'll just leave a voicemail. Sometimes you'll call, but you're unable to make contact. Maybe you'll speak to a prospect. You get the idea. And you can click within the notes to add additional details. So for example, on vacation next week, etc. Hit save. Now you can uh, take notes for Tom, you can take notes for Sally, you can toggle between them. So let's say we met with Tom, so we can see our interactions with Sally, and then with Tom. If you click view all notes, you can see all the interactions you've had company-wide. Now you can also send an email within the PRM. You have a couple of options. If you select outside the PRM, you'll send from your Outlook account, which syncs up with Insight PRM. If you select custom content, you can just type a note right here in the PRM. Add a subject line. And don't forget to select your contact from the list. Now as soon as we save that, that's going to go off to Sally. To set an appointment, just click set appointment. Select the person you're setting the appointment with, then just change the date and time on the calendar. Now once you click save, that's going to go up here to your appointments list. Now after you've made the five, six, seven or more attempts that may be necessary to set an appointment with a prospect, you'll have quite a long list of notes. Um, so we recommend putting the key information in the My Insights field. That way you don't have to scroll through all of those notes each time you make a call to this prospect. So type whatever is pertinent to you um, in that box. Don't forget to hit save. When you're done working the record for the day, click Schedule Follow-up. This works the same as setting an appointment. You just adjust the date and time on the calendar. And that's going to go up here to your follow-ups list. Now we recommend that each day when you log into Insight PRM, just take a look at your appointments. So select appointments, then click view all. And this is your appointments list. If you happen to miss one, it'll turn red and move to the top of the list. Same with follow-ups. Select follow-ups, click view all. We only have one follow-up set, so let's add it to our call list. We'll go into our call list, and we just have the one record, um, so we can go into our PRM and add a couple more to the call list. Just click the plus sign on the side. Uh, you can also hit mark, and go down to the action menu, and select add to call list. Okay, Let's go into the call list. 
Um, so ideally, you'll have a nice mix of follow-up calls for companies you've already contacted in the past and initial calls to companies you haven't reached out to yet. Now it's really easy to work through the call list. Click the first record. Now what you'll want to do is set the Save Plus Options. This is going to make the process so much quicker and easier. Now what you can do is schedule a follow-up automatically for the same time tomorrow, next week, or next month. So let's do it for next week. You can choose to send an email, and you can choose to automatically advance the record. So we'll save those options. Now I'm going to make a call to Penn Presbyterian. Say I got voicemail. So I left a voicemail. Click that Save Plus Options button. And a couple of things are going to happen. For one, a follow-up appointment was automatically scheduled for the same time next week. The record was saved. It was removed from the call list. And I was advanced to the next record in the list. Okay, so we'll call Vanguard. Same thing, left a voicemail. Click Save Plus Option. It's as quick as that. Let's work our way through the call list real quick. So it looks like we reached the end of our record set. Now when we go into our call list, it's completely empty. Uh, it was that quick to make all of those calls and set all of those follow-up appointments. Well, that's basic training for Insight PRM. Um, there's a lot more you can do with this system. So keep checking back uh, as we continually update our video library.